This episode of Our Favorite Things is called to order. I am Kristen Jacobson and I work at Women's Christian Temperance Union Archives at Francis Willard House Museum. My favorite thing is a gavel, of which we have many at both the archives and the House Museum. They're from the Philippines, from Francis Willard's birthplace in New York, they're made out of wood, they're made out of ivory, they're made out of all kinds of things. The gamble was a very important symbol to the women of the Women's Christian Temperance Union, or WCTU. It was very much a working symbol, and it was also a symbol of the power and the confidence and the organizational skills they learned as members of the WCTU. I first encountered gavels when I was organizing records for the Southern California WCTU. I found a letter from a secretary of one of the chapters who said that one of the conventions, uh, the officers used the gavel so enthusiastically that they damaged the pulpit of the church that they were meeting at, and they were going to have to pay damages for it. That really intrigued me. I thought, what was going on? Were those women so unruly that somebody had to bang the gavel really enthusiastically to get them back in order? Were they talking about something very contentious? What exactly was going on? Unfortunately, I never found that out, but I did find out a little bit more about gavels and where they came from. So we, today, know a gavel as something that a judge bangs to call the court to order or that the president of an organization bangs to bring a meeting to order. It didn't start out that way. Um, the, there are many different explanations for the origins of a gavel as a symbol of authority and of power. The most common one seems to be the origin in the Freemasons, which were, and still are, a secret society for men. It originated in 16th century Scotland and was very popular at the time of the early United States Republic and also in England. So the founding fathers would have been familiar with the Freemasons and with their, um, and with the symbols that they adopted. Uh, the symbol, for example, of the gavel came from the medieval stonemasons or stone workers uh, gavel, which was basically a hammer. So the early re Republic officers used the gavel as a symbol of power and authority in the Senate. So that meant that the gavel was a very much, very much a symbol of male power in a male world and at high levels of federal government in this country. And the members of the WCTU would have known that when they founded the organization in the uh, late 19th century. It was very surprising for women at that time to have adopted this male symbol of power. Women were mostly in the home. They were mothers, they were wives, they kept the house, um, but they did get involved in this temperance work. That was acceptable work for them to be involved in because it did protect the home. For example, if um, a husband and father spent all his pay on drink instead of food for the family, or if he beat his wife, that was not right, and that was something that women were called on to fight against. They did expand beyond that though. They expanded into uh, helping the poor, into helping workers, into helping marginalized groups. And they also expanded into higher levels of power in legislation and government. They worked on something that you will have heard a lot about lately, which is suffrage. The WCTU was, uh, played a very important role in getting the passage of suffrage of the 19th Amendment in 1920. And they continue to work in legislation. So the gavel to them was a symbol of how they wanted to work within this male world. They were still women, but they wanted to use these male symbols and they wanted to be a, an organization that was taken seriously. They were a very professional organization. They were very organized. They had chapters at the local level, the county, the state, the nation, and even the world. They considered themselves very professional and they emulated the male world of power and the male way of running meetings. 
they used the gavel, they ran their meetings, it was a very professional type of organization. Thank you very much for listening today. This meeting is now adjourned.